Good morning everyone, it's Christian Whale here and I'm very, very sorry that I've not recorded a YouTube video in quite some time. You're looking at a piece of equipment that I bought a while ago. Um, open this front panel. You can see that we have none other than... Yep, yeah, there's a hard drive. What is this? Well, this is the Netgear ReadyNAS 214 series network attached storage unit. It's a modular device. As you can see, the drives just fit in like that. Give it a push and give it a click. There's four drive bays. One, two, three, four. You can just pull either of them like that. And you can see the drives slide out. Nice design unit. Very well thought of. You've got easy to use controls. You see you've got a USB port at the top there with a the backup button next to it. To the right of that is the status indicator that shows all the lights, which currently isn't active. To the right of that is a power button, which you can't really see, but it's there. Around its back, there's a number of connectivity options. Um, on the back of it, you've got, as you can see, there's Ethernet. There's two Ethernets in mine and there's power and that gives us oh and there's, there's extra USBs around there as well but you can't really see the back of it very clearly so I do apologize for that um, so let's turn her on and I'll show you the front panel so pressing the power button will result in everything lighting up in a second it's very bright is that power light so I'll just shield that that is ultra bright. There's the main statuses. One, two, three, four. If we go down the bottom here, you'll see a screen, which is quite informative. It says booting. The drives are spinning up. It's starting the network process. And it's generally getting things done. And it's quite an easy piece of hardware to use. Um, it's just booting up now and what you'll see in a second when it's booted it will represent it'll present us with a version number we're currently running 6.9.1 I think on this one don't know if there's an upgrade to this yet but these are very nice NAS boxes I use it with my computer uh, I use it with all sorts there we are looks ready NAS 214 6.9.1 it will then proceed to give me the IP address on the network there it is, it says Harry, that's the name of the box, 192.168.0.3 and the panel will then go to sleep. Now I can get other status information off of this just by pressing the power button once you see it's saying music, that's the volume name, 77% free and then it goes back to showing Harry and his IP address. That's pretty much what it's about. It's a very nice machine, works very well Drives in it relatively quiet. The Toshibas, one, um, two terabyte, I think each. I've got eight terabytes total in this. So really, for what it is, it's not a bad piece of kit. The build quality is pretty nice. If we compare it to an old NAS box I used to have, which sadly doesn't work anymore. This is the old NAS I used to use. This I don't know what make this was. Well, this is my old NAS, just for comparison. I've turned it on its back so you can see. It's got um, a number of bits to it. It's got a screen at the bottom there that would show its status. This pops off to reveal your discs. And to get your discs out of this one, you just simply press on the drive and slide the button. And we've got Western Digital one terabytes in this one. As you can see, you might not be able to see that, but these are Western Digital discs. Let me see what it gives here. Turn it that way around. 1.0 TB. It tells you that. It gives you all the markings for Europe and all the countries where these things belong. There's four of them, just like on the other box. Various raid modes and things like that that you can get to get them back in. You just push, get them the right way around, push them in, 
the lock in place. Connectivity on this is sparse at best. If we turn this round, we can see this one hasn't got a lock going for it. It's got input, it's got a network port, a single network port, a USB for a printer port, a reset switch, a power input, an IEC kettle LED power input, and a power off, which is a rocker, incidentally. You rock it and it goes. It's a weird thing. Uh, but that one sadly doesn't work. The power supply in it gave up. So that one's out for scrap and that's why I got the new one. That was a very good NAS for the time I had it. Don't get me wrong, it really was. But this one, although for blind people this is not the most accessible to set up, once you do get it set up and you get help to set it up to start with, it makes a very fine addition to your network. Uh, I use it for music and stuff. I store all my music and everything on it. So this, this is an absolute boon. It really is a good piece of kit. I love it. And as I say, I'm sorry guys that I've not posted videos for years. I just had a problem, a major problem with my camera and I couldn't do it. And now I've learned that I can do it via use of my iPod. So I want to thank um, Alex Mackey of the Mackey Super Network for giving me the thumbs up on that one. And uh, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been too long. Chris... Seriously, you need to get more videos up, mate. You do need to do it. Yes, I do. I do. I do. I've got lots more things to show you on this channel. An update on Lily. She's doing really well. My African Grey, you guys might remember that was probably the last video you saw. It was Lily. So, um, we'll do that. And we'll get an update on her later. She's, she's just over three years old now. And she's a chatty little thing. So, if you guys find Mackie Super Network, you'll see that I've helped to do a video or two on there. So, watch this space and there'll be more. I'll catch up with you all soon.